Hello, good morning. Welcome to this course. In this course, I'm going to show you eight awesome VS Code extensions for Laravel. So just wait to the end of the course to get the whole package. Um, I already have my Laravel project installed here to so the marketplace. Okay, so the first one I want to install is Laravel Blade Snippet. So this uh, snippet helps you to add syntax highlight support for the Laravel Blade. Um, some of the key features it does is like uh, it has a uh, Blade syntax. So let's say for example, in our source, let's go to views. Okay. okay, welcome the blade. So let's assume I want to add uh, a for loop. I can just do B for loop, right? So this is um, the Laravel blade syntax. These are the, some of the things you can do for us. So I can also do some crazy things like uh, A dot container. and it just helped me out to generate it so that's all about that so uh, it works in all blade templates it helps does your blade formatting and your blade um, highlights so um, so in order to make sure that this um, plugin works very well you have to go to file go to um, our preference and go to settings Okay, settings.json. So just the settings. Json. All right. So so edit. So under this blade, okay, we're just going to add uh, a snippet. So we're just going to add editor. editor dot also closing brackets and I'm just gonna put all these so we're just gonna add that then one more thing we're gonna do is um um okay one more thing we're gonna do is under here we're just gonna add blade formats um, I'm just gonna make that true and we're gonna do one more thing eminate eminate trigger eminate trigger on top so just gonna turn this to true all right guys so this is how you set it up and it should be working perfectly well all right so the next one is number two is the lava snippet so back to our so let me close this so back to our marketplace so I'm just going to do the Laravel snippet which is this so we click on install so the Laravel snippet actually does uh, uh, with the Laravel snippet you can do a whole lot of stuff so for example let's do so it's kind of up to complete it for you so you can do this so it helps you to just get everything straight so you can do um, a whole lot of stuff so it just help you do the auto complete so I can say root and I just do delete see it creates, it creates it for me so these are the things that some of the uh, the never snippet these are the things it does for you so you can use it for authentication you can use it for broadcast cache config cookies and create DB event, just name it almost anything you want. The Lava Snippet can do that for you. So that's number two. So we're going straight to number three now, which is the Lava Blade Spacer. So back to the marketplace. So Lava Blade Spacer. So you see, um, a lot of people have installed it. So the Lava Blade Spacer is. Um, it's annoying when you try to access something in your blade with um, normally you do this right it's automatically just add this space for you because without the lava space uh, normally you just have to you know start adding space uh, all by yourself so the lava space I just do that for you 
so let's assume you want to do this so you just add it for you all right guys so let's move on to the fourth one which is the Laravel artisan okay the Laravel artisan so with the Laravel artisan it does a lot of things okay if you're just those kind of people that doesn't really like to use the use the command line so the Laravel artisan really help you to do that so with the Laravel artisan I already installed it here so to use this just press um, command shift P and you can just do anything you can just say controller and you can just do anything that you want to do with the Laravel artisan you can say clear artisan so you can it once you just type artisan it shows you everything so if you want to clear if you want to make authentication anything you just want to do all right it helps you to do that okay guys so let's move on straight so you can actually use the Laravel artisan to clear cache generate keys manage your database just run any kind of artisan code all right so let's move forward so the next one we're looking at is the Laravel extra intellisense now i actually like this so let's go back to our store and just say Laravel artisan no Laravel extra intellisense Alright, so this is the Laravel Extra Intelligence. So you just click on install. Okay, with this intelligence, you can do a whole lot of stuff. Extra intelligence, you can suggest things for you. Let's assume you create them. So let's assume you do this. Okay. So you can just, you can suggest for you like it just makes it far more easier all right so let's go to the sixth one which is Laravel go to controller so back to our marketplace so this is Laravel go to controller so you just install it all right so with the Laravel go to controller you can easily come um, go to your controller from your all right so let's move forward so the eighth one is the dot env sitters alighting so if you want your env to be highlighted which is here so you have to install this plugin so the name is just uh, dot dot env okay so this is it. so for the dot env so let's install your env file see it's now highlighted and it's more beautiful like this all right guys we have come to the end of this tutorial if you like our tutorial please kindly click the like button and share this video and also subscribe to our channel to get the latest uh, videos from us every week all right thanks